Hello student, today I am going to start a new chapter, Semantic Data Control. In Semantic Data Control, there are three topic, View Management, Data Security and Integrity Control, in which I will explain you View Management first. But before starting View Management, I will explain you what is Semantic Data Control. Semantic data control typically include view management, security control, semantic integrity control. Informally, these functions must ensure that authorized user perform correct operation on the database contributing to the maintenance of database integrity. Now, in the relational framework, semantic data control can be achieved in a uniform fashion. View security constraint and semantic integrity constraint can be defined as a rule that the system automatically enforces. In RDBMS, Semantic data control can be achieved in a uniform way like view, security, constraint, semantic integrity constraint can be defined as a rule that the system automatically enforce. The basic tasks of semantic data control are similar to one in the centralized database system. In addition to the centralized case, each task must consider the number one, fragmentation of relation, number two, distribution of fragment across multiple sites. Now, the next one is view management. In a relational system, a view is a virtual relation defined as the result of a query on base relations, but not materialized like a base relation which is stored in the database. A view is a dynamic window in the sense that it reflects all update to the database. An external schema can be defined as a set of view and also base relations. Besides their use in external schema, view are useful for ensuring data security in a simple way. By selecting a subset of database, a view hides some data. If user may only access the database through the view they cannot see or manipulate the hidden data which are therefore secure a distributed dbms a view can be derived from distributed relations and the access to the view requires the execution of distribution distributed query corresponding to the view definitions This is the example, a view management in a centralized database, how it works. A view in a relation is derived from a base relation via query. It can involve selection, projection, aggregate, function, etc. This is the queries. The view of a system analysis can derive from the relation EMP can be defined by the following SQL query. You can see how a new table we can create with the help of view in centralized database here we write create view syscon eno name as select eno name from emp where title is equal to sysanl here we are creating a derived a new table that is virtual table sysan with the field eno and ename the condition where title is sysanl it derived from this queries the single effect of the this statement is the storage of the view definition in the in the catalog no other information need to be stored therefore the result to the query defining the view is not produced however the view system can be manipulated as a base relation this is the second example here, the query is find the name of all the sys analysts with their project number and responsibilities. 
Here we write the query and it involves view sys sen and relation ASG. Here we write select ename PNO res from sys ASG where sys dot ENO equal to ASG dot ENO. Mapping a query express on a view into a query express on base relation can be done with query modification. With this technique, the variable are changed to range on the base relation and the query qualification is merged with the view qualification. This query is translated into second form. Here we write select ename PNO address from EMP and ASG where EMP.ENO equal to ASG.ENO and title equal to SysNL. Automatic query modified is required that is an ending query qualification with view qualifications. View management in centralized database this is the third example. All view can be queried as base relation but not all the view can be updated as such. Update through view can be handled automatically only if they can be propagated correctly to the base relations. We classify view as updatable and not updatable. Here we are explaining one by one. The first one is updatable view. View can be defined by using arbitrarily complex relation inquiry involving selection, projection, join, aggregate function and so on. All view can be integrated as base relation but not all the view can be manipulated as such. Update through view can be handled automatically only if they can be propagated correctly to the base relation. We can classify view as being updatable and not updatable. A view is updatable only if the update to the view can be propagated to the base relation without ambiguity. Here we are creating uh, a new table with the help of view commands create view syscon ENA name as select ENO name from EMP with title get now updatable in non updatable view the update to the view cannot be propagated to the base relation without ambiguity If attribute other than title are were hidden by the view, they they would be assigned null values. The following view, however, is not updatable. Here the command create view eg e name resp as select distinct itna where from emp sg where emp dot en equal to sg dot en. The deletion for the example the tuple Smith analyst cannot be propagated since it is ambiguous. Deletion of the Smith in relation EMP analyst in the relation ASG are both meaningful, but the system does not know which is correct. So this is not updatable view. Current system are very restrictive view about supporting the update through views. View can be updated only if they are derived from a single relation by selection or projection. However, it is theoretically possible to automatically support update of a large class of view for example join updatable view in oracle here in oracle a view is not updatable if the defining query expression containing any of the following construct number one a set operator second distinct operator third aggregate or analytic function fourth group by clause recursive view Subquery in selection list join except if table are keep preserved and one base table tuple appear at most one in the view. Oracle select table column name updatable insertable deletable from user updatable column. So this is the updatable view in Oracle. In my last topic, view management in distributed database. 
The definition of a view is similar in a distributed DBMS and in centralized system. However, a view in the distributed system may be derived from fragmented relations stored at different sites. When a view is defined, its name and its retrieval query are stored in the catalog. View derived from distributed relation may be costly to evaluate since a given organization is likely to, that many users access the same view. Some proportion, proportional proposal have been made to optimize view derivations. View are conceptually the same as base relation. A view definition is stored in the distributed directory. View definition might be centralized at one site, partially replicated, fully replicated. And queries on view are translated into queries on base relation, yielding distributed query due to possible fragmentation of data. View derived from distributed relation may be costly to evaluate. Next is materialized view. Materialized view are stored the stored the computed result on a view to improve the performance. Update of materialized view are made faster by making materialized view. It is again divided into part incremental maintenance, maintainables and self-maintainable. Incremental maintainable means update by considering change only, not full re, re, uh, recomputation. And in self-maintainable means updated by considering only the view and delta relations. I hope you all understand uh, what is uh, semantic data control and what is view management. Thank you for watching my video lecture. Thank you.